Today we're going to be showing you how to play some swimming pool games. The first one's called Hungry Hungry Hippo. To make the goals, get two laundry baskets with small water noodles, put them in a circle and duct tape the end together and then it will fit right around the basket. And to get the water noodle to stay at the top when you're moving it around, you can just wrap it around the handle part. Now we're going to blow up the small size water balloons. Some of the packs of water balloons come with a nozzle that goes right on the end of the hose and that makes it really easy. And then you can just turn it on and off. For this game you're going to fill up the water balloons half with water, half with air. And the reason for that, whoops, it's got a little leak. <laughs> the reason for that is that these will then float on the water when you put them in the water. Okay, you start the next one. Split everyone into two teams, one on each side of the pool. Empty all the balloons into the pool, and then move them around so that they're evenly distributed. The first player from each team swims to the center of the pool, or catches balloons right next to them, and then brings them back to their bucket. The next person from that team then gets a balloon and brings it back to their bucket. Play continues until all the balloons are into the buckets. Alright, now we gotta count them up. Count up the total number of balloons for each team to determine the winner. 19, 20, 21, 22, and now we're gonna go count up the blue to the green team. 6, 27, 28, 29, green team wins. Shark tag is just like regular tag, except for you play it in a pool. The person who is it is a shark. They must hold their hand above their head like a shark fin. Whoever's tagged first is the next person it. Shark freeze tag is just like regular shark tag, except for when you get tagged, you must freeze. You must stay frozen until someone unfreezes you by swimming between your legs. The last person frozen is the new person who is it. I win! Hudson's it! Hudson's it! Hudson's it! For Pirate's Bounty, fill up one large water balloon. You may want to fill up a couple extras in case that one pops. Split the swimmers into two teams, one on each side of the pool. Choose one player from each team to go first. Put the water balloon in the middle of the pool. The two swimmers go to the middle. They try to return the treasure to their side of the pool by carrying it to their side and then touching their side of the pool. Choose two new team members to go next. Play continues until one team has earned five points. Alright, this team wins. For Amoeba tag, pick one person who is it. That person tries to tag all the other players. Once another player is tagged, they must lock arms with the person who is it and now must both together try to tag the other people in the pool. If they tag another person, that person must also lock arms with them. Let's go get full. Play continues until the last person is tagged. That person is the new person who is it for the next round. For a whack -a whale one person is it. They're going to get one of these medium-sized water noodles. Ready, go! All players begin swimming underwater in the pool. Watch out, Zach! The 
person who is it can get the whales out by whacking them in the head when they come up for air. Once a person's out, they must keep their head out of the pool, signifying that they are out of the game. The last person whale whacked is the new person it. For water rugby, you need to fill up several medium-sized balloons. You're going to split into two teams, one on each side of the pool. Once the balloon hits the, the water, you can begin. Place one of the water balloons in the center of the pool. All players for both teams must try to do anything possible to carry the balloon to the opposing side of the pool and get it over the edge of the, of the pool. Rule clarification, you cannot throw the balloon, you have to lift it right over the edge of the pool. The other rule we're going to add to make it a little more fair is that the team that scores the point has to toss it to the other team at the start. Play continues until one team scores five points. Marco Polo is the classic of all pool games. One person's it. They must close their eyes for the entire time that they're it. And they must yell out Marco while the rest of the people yell out Polo. The person it tries to tag the other swimmers by continuing to yell Marco while the, yell, while the other rest of the swimmers yell Polo. Keep your eyes shut. Marco, Whoever's tagged is the next person who is it. For the game Pearl Hunt, you're going to need to find some old golf balls and make sure that they're very clean before you use them for this game. Split into two teams, one on each side of the pool. Do not go yet. Empty all of the golf ball pearls into the pool. Touch the side, please. For this game, all players play at the same time. On your marks, get set, go. Each team is going to try to get the pearls by scooping them up from the bottom and putting them into their bucket. Play continues until all the pearls have been found. I think we're good. Yeah. That's all of them. All right, the green team, we'll count them up. Count up the total number of pearls One, for each two, team three, to determine the winner. Four, five, five, 15, 15, 16, 17. And the blue team, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, blue team is over. Thanks for learning how to play pool games with us today. Make sure to subscribe to Minnesota Cold or watch more how-to and Minnesota Cold videos of ours.